for the first time in all nine months. Tony Brown plays for his county after an unfortunate period of injury. He starts at midfield in a team selection that looks like this. Peter Creeley, following his second half display against Kilkenny, is given the centre-back position alongside Brian Flannery and Stephen Frampton. Dan Shanahan is recalled to the half-forward line that looks intimidating, with Ken McGrath in the centre and Paul Flynn on the other side. All-Ireland winning captain Mark Landers returns to the Leeshy combination in the centre of the park. After missing the last game against Leash, he's one of five changes for this visit to Waterford's home patch. John Sheehan starts at wing-back. Timmy McCarthy partners Landers at centre field. Fergal McCormick operates from centre forward, while Shawnee McGrath and Ben O'Connor pose a major threat in the corners. Match referee for this uh, league clash is the well-known Dickie Murphy from County Wexford. There's a carnival atmosphere in Walsh Park, Waterford. A crowd of over 15,000 people packed in as the uh, goalkeeper Cork Donald O'Cusick gets the honour of starting the game since Waterford won the toss and are playing with wind advantage. Tony Brown. Half blocked and indeed eventually collected by Timmy McCarthy. As Cork tried to uh, register their first score. That pass going astray. Alan Brown pulling on it. Ball breaks kindly for Ben O'Connor. And he sends it over the ball for the opening score. Mark Landers again. Fair shoulder from Michael White. Ken McGrath feeding White. Sneaking inside the cover is big Dan Shanahan. The Cork had to be alert, and particularly Diarmuid O'Sullivan. Back it comes to McGrath, who lashes it over the bar. The first score of the game for Waterford. <laughs> Lengthy pick out comes to Ben O'Connor. That little turn flicked away from him, and Brendan Landers is there. Good defending by Waterford. Certainly the Waterford full back line are under severe pressure in this absorbing first half. Nicely picked up by Michael White. He has Dave Bennett to his right. Great run by White. Can he finish? That's in the mix. Dave Bennett is taking the credit for the defence living run by Michael White. Posed numerous problems for Cork and Dave Bennett was at the end of it. Good pull by Brenner. Comes to Dan Shanahan. Mark Landers chasing. Good run by Shanahan against the wind and the rain. Can he score? Magnificent. An inspirational point by any standards. Johnny McGrath now playing out in the left half forward position. That's a great ball and it's going over the bar. Brendan Landers is protesting, but Shawnee McGrath will take the credit. Johnny Brennan. Ah, oh, great hurling. Fergal McCormick after him. Brennan getting away from his marker. Well pulled up. And Donald O'Cusick has to be alert, but he gives it away, slips out of his grasp. And Cork under pressure here, cleared off the line, amazingly, by Derek Bounce. Out towards Bergen Rye. We've had absolutely exquisite skill and drama in Walsh Park. In an exhilarating first half, and it's not over. Chance here for Anthony Kerwa. Trying to make an angle. Trying to score his first in this match. And the Mount Sinai man has done just that. Well, Donald O'Cusick was very fortunate here because he had the situation covered. But because of the terrible downpour a few moments ago, he slipped, lost possession, and that caused consternation in the court defense. Picked up by Tony Brown as passes go astray. 
Anthony Kerwin, knocking it back. And Michael White breaks the deadlock. Eight and a half minutes of the second half. And Michael White from Mount Sign gets the honor of scoring the first point of the second half. Timmy McCarthy. Tony Brown knocking it into touch. Side down ball court. Here's Wayne Sherlock. He's now in for Johnny Sheehan. Now the turn of the Waterford defence to experience a little bit of pressure. Kevin Murray out towards Johnny McGrath and he squeezes it over the bar. Second point of the match for the North Cork City man. Great calls, goes nicely for Ken McGrath. Three points for the centre half forward. Nikhil Connor. Adding it down for Brian Corker. Tony Brown. Three court players around him. Loses out. Here comes Johnny McGrath. Chance of a goal. Beautiful strike. Johnny McGrath with a flick of the wrist sends a rocket past Brendan Landers and this game is up for grabs. Look at this again. The ball sent inside to Shawnee. Shawnee hardly looked, just pulled. He knew exactly where he wanted to put the ball and he did. Niall Ronan is on now for Cork from Pally Hay. Michael Watt. back outside towards Ken McGrath didn't even put it into his hand oh that is exquisite five points for Ken McGrath this is a class act here that ball sent across McGrath didn't even bother putting it into his hand like most hurlers would do flipped it up and then in one sweeping movement sent it over the bar Park response here's a chance for Pat Ryan Sending it across, there's a chance for my Roman! A substitute just introduced. And the Ballyhay man gets his name on the score sheet in the most dramatic way. Cork responded from McGrath's great point by going into the attack. Waterford defence were just a little bit caught here, but Nile Roman did so well to beat Brendan Landers. Sideline ball to be taken by Derek Barrett. Brendan Coleman turning and sending it over the ball. The sides are level. It's his first point of the game. And the young man from Yorl will be well pleased with this. Is there a winner in either side? Peter Queeley sends it forward ball breaks to Michael White who's pulled down and that has to be a free if not a penalty it looks by the actions of the referee there it is it is a penalty now will Waterford be satisfied with taking that point or will they go for glory Paul Flynn with the responsibility here's Flynn takes his points could well be the more intelligent decision. 36 minutes, 22 seconds played. There is a free for Waterford. Is it possible for Waterford to start off the new millennium by beating Cork, something they failed to do in the 90s? It's going to drop short dropping in, it's on the goal line can they put it in, there's a melee it's in the net and the goal stands in an absolutely amazing finish and the referee has blown his whistle 
What an amazing finish here at Walsh Park. Fittingly, Barry Walsh scores the winner and gives Waterford the first victory over Cork in this new millennium. Full time score Waterford 217, Cork 214. Well, in fairness, I think Waterford, you know, their overall display was probably just marginally better than ours on the day. I think they deserve their win, but it, it could have been a draw in the end, but that's the way it goes. Great win for your side, Gerald. It was a very exciting win, Marty. Again, left to the very dying minutes of the game. And, um, you know, the, this team is showing character like that in each of our games. We would rather they go on and win it a little easier for us on the sideline. But, uh, you know, in fairness, they've shown great commitment. And uh, we're absolutely delighted to get out of a win, which, you know, a minute ago probably didn't look possible.